Hi, this is Automatic Addison here. I am in Singapore. You can see the beautiful Singapore skyline behind me downtown. So, ladies and gentlemen, future tech titans, robotic overlords, and those of you who just clicked because you got FOMO on the future, listen up. Today we are talking about robotics careers, the difference between making six figures in a job you love or spending your life watching robots do the job you should have had. Because let's be real, the robots are coming, they're not the future, they are here. And if you don't figure out where you fit in this robotic revolution, you'll be stuck watching from the sidelines like a bench warmer in the championship game. Now a lot of people think robotics engineer is just one job, wrong. That's like saying athlete is just one job. Are we talking about an NBA point guard, an Olympic sprinter, or some dude playing chess with the sweatband on? There are levels to this game. So let's break it down. One, AI and machine learning engineers, the brain surgeons of robotics. These are the folks creating the minds of the machines. You love AI, large scale model evaluation, neural networks, this is your lane. Data infrastructure engineers, AI training engineers, AI tooling engineers, these people are the architects of robotic intelligence. They're the ones teaching robots how to think, analyze, and eventually outperform you. You want job security? Work on AI. Because I promise you, humans are getting replaced. The ones building the AI, they're gonna get rich. Number two, perception and computer vision engineers, the ones who give robots sight. We take vision for granted, but robots, they start life blind. And these engineers, they like, they make the magic happen. Perception, localization, and mapping and computer vision, these guys are teaching robots how to see the world. Without them, robots would be walking into walls like your drunk uncle at Thanksgiving. If you're into image processing, SLAM, 3D reconstruction, this is your kingdom. Number three, simulation engineers, the virtual reality gods. Listen, building a robot is expensive. You think these companies are just throwing their multi-million dollar machines in a real world test, hoping they don't face plant? Absolutely not. That's why we have simulations, my friends. These engineers create virtual worlds where we can test AI, optimize it without breaking expensive hardware. You like 3D modeling, physics engines, machine learning environments? This is where you eat. Number four, hardware and mechanical engineers, the real world builders. Not everyone wants to live in code. Some people want to build the body of the beast. Senior mechanical engineers, robotics technicians, electrical engineers. These people design the actual machines. They prototype, they test, they watch things break spectacularly before they make them unstoppable. Humanoid robotics, robotic arms, industrial automation. None of this happens without hardware engineers. But if you're in hardware, prepare yourself, prepare yourself because something will go wrong. You will spend months designing a robotic hand only for the first prototype to snap off like a cheap toy from the dollar store. But if you've built for this, if you love iteration and you get the thrill from watching your design come to life, this is where you belong. Number five, embedded in control engineers, the puppet masters. You ever seen a robot move with precision and thought, wow, that's smooth. That's because Embedded engineers, okay? If hardware is the body and AI is the brain, embedded engineers are the nervous system. They write the firmware, optimize real-time performance, and make sure the robot doesn't exist, it functions. Hand control, body control, humanoid coordination. These engineers are the reason why robots don't just stand there looking dumb. If you like low-level code, real-time systems, and absolute control over machines, every move, this is your world. Number six, robotic software engineers, the autonomy architects. Robots don't just need intelligence, they need decision making. That's where robotic software engineers come in like me. Behavior coordination engineers, navigation engineers, manipulation engineers. These people program the logic that makes robots function independently. You want robots that walk, pick up things, avoid obstacles and do jobs for you? These are the people making it happen. Number seven, the wild cards, product managers, field engineers, robot pilots. Oh yeah, I said it. There are humanoid robot pilot jobs. Yes, you can get paid to control a humanoid robot. What kind of futuristic sci-fi nonsense is that? Meanwhile, your cousin is out there working retail yelling at people about expired coupons. Or maybe you wanna be in product management, R&D, security, or manufacturing. Robotics isn't just about the tech, it's about getting these machines into real businesses. And those jobs, they pay too. So how do you choose? How do you choose? 
simple. Stop guessing. Stop waiting for inspiration like it's going to hit you in the face. Go look at the job listings right now. Go on Indeed, LinkedIn, right now. See what skills are in demand and align yourself accordingly. Because let me tell you something, robotics isn't just coming. It's already here. And if you sit on the sidelines, if you waste time, if you think you can figure it out later, you're going to wake up one day competing for jobs with the very robots you should have been building. So make a choice. Make a choice. Pick your lane. Master your craft and take over the future before the future takes over you. And if you still don't get it, if you still don't know where you fit in robotics, if you still think you can afford to wait, let me say this loud and clear. The people who build the future, who own the future, everyone else just lives in it. Keep building. Automatic Addison.